Things are worse than we feared. The assassins found a way to make the precursor box work. They're already preparing an expedition. Then we must stop them. Hope controls hundreds of men. The authorities are doing sod all. What if we were to impersonate her men? We could commit a crime so big. They couldn't ignore those damn brigands anymore. That sounds like an excellent plan, Jack. Make it so. I will find out where the assassins are hiding. Is it just me, or did the boss tell us to make trouble? Enjoy it while you can, Shay. Get him, Shay. We'll need their clothes. You're right. Let's move. Come on. I'm too young to die. Hurry, you fool. Or we're both dead men. <laughs> Don't we make a disgraceful pair of crooks? No. I make this look good. So what's the target? The military pay. We'll have to hurry. Our regiment is already on its way to the fort where the coins are kept. Great. And I suppose you have a plan. The fort holds many prisoners. Get in and hoist the gang's colors. When you do, I'll free them. You're going to free a bunch of criminals working with the assassins. Well, we have to turn the army against them, don't we? Remember. You raise the flag, and I'll raise hell! Surrender now, or die! 
a troublemaker, eh? I'll show you trouble. What on earth happened here? The prisoners got loose. They had help from outside. There were just too many of them. Well then, we're going to have to fix that, aren't we? It's about time we took those criminals down. It worked, Jack. With a little luck, the army will crush those damned brigands. I make my own luck. What the hell is wrong with you? You want to All help us rebuild this fine city? Keep your brown best on your shoulder while you march. I do not know what I would have done without you, kind sir.
among our ranks here, and yet we're to be subordinate. Where is your boss? I'll never tell. She'll kill me. If you don't tell, he'll kill you. She's in that big mansion. The one with the gardens.
Shall we go? You didn't mention you had a hidden blade. You thought you were the only one? Well, yes, I suppose. Where did you get that? It was donated by the brother. I see. My mission was a success. The army should make its move any time now. Good. We like the resources in New York to handle these criminals ourselves. With a little luck, we might be rid of them once and for all. I make my own look. Now let us cut off the snake's head. Sir, we can confirm. The woman is inside. Perfect. I'll go in and Time get hold myself. Out. Very well. We have everything we need. Now, Chevalier will be expecting me. Hope. Bon voyage. About time you showed up. Sorry it had to come to this, Shay. You were a fascinating fellow. more endurance than I expected, Shay. What is this? Poison. Slurs my heart. I have to move. That's it. Moving. Keeps my heart beating. Hope. Get the antidote. Stop! I got you! Let's ground you. 
To do this. I trained you to do this. I expected nothing less. Then why? To give Liam time to leave. Soon Chevalier will be on his way to the Precursor site. I will stop him. He will see you coming. Pity. You had so much potential. Captain has the helm!
We're in the Atlantic again. Shay and the Templars are going after the assassin expedition. Go team! Crowded up! Master Cormac, to what do I owe the pleasure? I was stopping to restock my ship when I heard the talented Captain Cook was here. We have a word. At your service, as always. I'm looking for a man. Captain Louis-Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Verandrie. The explorer? I have heard of him and his illustrious family. I must see him. Ah, who sent my regards? Or... Not. He sailed east a few days ago on a heading to Anticosti. Mm, indeed. I would advise caution. Oh, I've been there before. Then, I bid you good fortune. I will be sailing past Conception Bay, should you require further assistance. Much obliged. Master is pleased, Shay, what you did in New York. Yes, it's only a matter of time now before order is restored. New York was never orderly, Gist. With hope gone, perhaps. It couldn't have been easy for you, my lad. But you did what you had to do. I keep telling myself that. We are almost rid of the assassins in New York. And it's not as if the Hellcat didn't try to make you wear a pine overcoat. You had no other choice. I chose to cast my lot with the Templars. And we are glad you did, Shay. Who knows? Had you not, you might have found yourself at the end of Master Kenway's blade. Or yours. That's the spirit. Look, Shay, by killing Hope, you not only saved yourself and half of New York from the Assassin's poisons, you also learned the path we must take next. Now our task is simple. Prevent a group of paper skull killers from destroying another city. All in a day's work. A long day, guest. Not to be insensitive, sir, but what did you learn from the departed damsel? There may be an alternate route to the west! Please, 
Stop the wind! Anticosti is famed for its shipwrecks. They likely believe no one would venture into such dangerous waters. None the fools and madmen, perhaps? Watch out for those icebergs, Captain. Brief it on, Tops! would be overrun with red coat if we hadn't found him out. Makes you wonder how many other rats riddle this island. Only a matter of time before someone paid the price. The captain's been spitting bile ever since the Frenchman left. Never trusted the villain. are nothing but blasted symbols and nonsense. <laughs> Better head back to the Morgan. George's men will take care of those pirates. We've got our own battles to fight. escape that I'm comfortable with, but we have what we came for. Then we know where De La Verandre's ships are headed? Not quite, but we have the means to find out. We'll need code to interpret these maps. Then we should set sail for the coast of Newfoundland. Thank you. 
Ahoy! Be welcome, sir. Yeah. 
We're carving through the ice. Master Cormac, I didn't expect to see you again so soon. I found Levet Andre's travel plans. But the devil used some kind of code, I... I can't figure it out. Maybe you'll have better luck. How strange. This is a very old cipher. I have seen it once before. I could draw you a map. Or... You could accompany me. Help me find La Verandry. An urgent matter, then. Very well. We shall sail together again. I gather you have some history with our friend La Verandry? A history of instant loathing. I should have known not to trust my friends to embrace such a wretch. My goodness, what could this fellow have done to inspire such enmity? I know him only as one of a family of explorers, extending the boundaries of the known world. From the brief encounters I've had with him, I can tell you he's an irascible person. That's a polite way of saying he's a cantankerous bastard. But do his actions surpass his words? I suspect history will believe so, my dear. Did you hear that? Cannon fire. Deep within the fog. Could it be the Lavarandri? Perhaps. This is a secret expedition. They won't be keen to leave any witnesses to their voyage. Floating cargo for the taking, sir. for long, and perhaps it will help us take them by surprise. Ray! 
Was I right? Convinced to the end. <laughs> you bastard! Achilles and Liam have already headed north! Hope was right. <laughs> I do make a good distraction. <laughs> Uh. 
Thanks for your help, Captain Cook. You're welcome, Captain Cormac. Sailing with you is certainly, um, interesting. Well, trouble does seem to find us, it's true. In Tell me the truth. Are you fellows with a larger organization? The Board of Admiralty. You take your orders directly from His Majesty, don't you? We couldn't tell you, even if we were. You should have these maps. The La Verandry won't need them anymore. We'll contact you in regards to sponsoring future voyages, Captain. Much obliged.
Catch, Captain! Move on! Let Master Kenway! The La Verandry's dead. I have the coordinates. I know where the assassins are going. Then, let us make haste. Do you think Achilles and Liam have found the precursor site? The world is still standing. If they uncovered it, they have not yet set the earth in motion. How gentlemanly of them. There should still be time. Master Gist, stay here. I shall accompany Shay. Sir, with respect, are you sure that's wise? As Grand Master, I must investigate this precursor matter to the end, and witness the death of Achilles' brotherhood. If the assassins do trigger an earthquake, at least there's few around to suffer. I have no intention of letting your former colleagues destroy a precursor. Right, regardless. Hazard would be beautiful if it wasn't so damn cold. Tread carefully. Some of this ice is rather thin. That's a hefty crew Achilles brought. I doubt he expects all of them to survive these conditions. That's bleak. But we're still outnumbered. Let's keep a low profile, avoid unnecessary fights. Your assassins would scarce recognize you. Come, let us enter their parlor. <clears throat> <clears throat> Find another way. Oh! 
Is this the apple? No, don't touch anything. 
She was right. What would he know? More than me, apparently. Finally, you understand. Achilles, this is a structure to hold the world together, not a weapon to control it. This whole calamity could have been avoided if you'd only listened to me. Disrespectful to the end. Yes, we've been working on that. Right or wrong, Shay? You betrayed the Brotherhood? Achilles and me, says the man who shot me in the back. At the homestead. That was Chevalier. I don't miss the undot. <laughs> Lucky. How many times do I have to tell you, Liam? I make my own luck. How do you do that? You bastard. You broke the assassins. Betrayed everyone you knew. You sided with our worst enemies. And for what? <laughs> to save the world. I hope that world is a good one.
Christ! Why not? Achilles is harmless now. A mentor with no followers. What kind of world are we making if we cannot show mercy? Besides, he understands what these precursor sites are now. Without him, the assassins may continue their search. Valid points. Never forget what has happened here. I won't. But the world will. So what happens now? Master Gist will be in charge of eradicating any remaining traces of the assassins. Master Weeks and the others will assist him, of course. Achilles has lost everything. He won't dare leave his homestead. He won't. Shay, although our search for precursor sites is at an end, I want that box. You will find it for the Templar Order, and for me. It could be anywhere in the world by now. It may take years to find it. It may take your lifetime. Are you up for the challenge? Good. I have everything I need to complete our assignment here. One last job, Namskull. We need you to upload Shay's story. But not to Helix. I want some very specific people to see what we have found here.
protect the world from the assassins. Today, you have helped me to fulfill this role. Please, restore the servers. Otso Berg, the big star of the Anime training program. Show me what you've got, you arrogant prick. If you insist, Buster Cross. <clears throat> I believe that my training will soon be complete. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> What's so funny? I was wrong about you. You're not arrogant. You're just deeply fucking stupid. Oh, your body, your mind, they're not yours anymore. You understand? All you have left are the voices. I don't suffer from your condition. My animus sessions were carefully- No, no, no! My voices are ghosts! Dead! So they can only ever say the same things over and over and over and over! But the ones in your head will never die. And they own you now. I am the Order's humble servant. You're not even a person anymore. You're a tool. A weapon. A plaything. We're done here. And in the glorious New World Order, there won't be any room for broken toys like us! Happened in Haiti, happened in Portugal. A great earthquake. Thousands dead next to your damned manuscript. Get him out of here. I want them to know how weak they truly are. And I want everyone to see them suffer. So on the day they finally meet me, they will welcome the death I offer them. She was right. What would he know? More than me, apparently. plan is in motion. I have no further demand to place upon you. However, Shay's story is not complete. I would ask that you see it through to the end. I am super impressed, Nobskull. You really came through for us. And yes, I am also a Templar. Have been for years.
one last chunk of Shay's data left to explore. It's a bit of a trip, but I think you should see it. Once you go back to finish Shay's story, your life is never going to be the same afterwards. You should finish any outstanding business before entering your animus. Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette in residence. Such decadence. Good luck, Numskull. Ah, Shay! You certainly look prepared to meet royalty. Perhaps King Louis himself will grant you an audience. I doubt even these breaches will get me into the King's chambers. Besides, I'm only here to see a business acquaintance. Yes, I heard a group of merchants would be here today. They might come see my scientific demonstration later. They really should. They might learn something. Though I wouldn't count on their being present. I take my leave. Thank you again, Master Franklin. Now to find Charles and that damned box. That's him. Charles Dorian. Stole those apples. <laughs> I'm Arno. Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. What shall we do now? Gentlemen, I'll protect this artifact with my very life. Arno? Where have you gone? You're the traitor. Just finishing old business. Old 
O'Connor and his assassins. The American Revolution undid your Templar business. Then perhaps we shall start a revolution of our own. Uphold the principles of our order, and all that for which we stand. Never share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work. Do so until death, whatever the cost. This is my new creed. I am Shay Patrick Cormac, Templar of the Colonial, of the American right. I am an older man now. And perhaps wiser. A war and a revolution have ended, and another is about to begin. May the Father of Understanding guide us all. Handed to you, numbskull. You proved yourself to be more than a simple research monkey. The data you extracted from Shay Cormac's memories has served us well. Shay's story is a message. One that says that when threatened, what an assassin truly wants isn't freedom, but order. And we represent the highest order there is. Whatever you learn from your animus experience only scratches the surface. We have existed since before recorded human history, and have recently been reborn, disguised as Abstergo Industries. And entertainment. You have crossed the threshold, and your eyes have been opened. You have seen the world for what it truly is. There's no turning back now. We got big plans for you. The Father of Understanding guided you to us, and for that, we are grateful. The test of your true worth begins now. And it begins with a choice. Join us, and a bright future will be all yours. Refuse.